Hello everybody, before this video begins, I just want to give some quick context. In case you don't know, Category 4 Typhoon hit Guam not too long ago. Uh, it's the main reason why I haven't been on social media or posting anything. Uh, it's been really rough, and honestly, I'm lucky enough to even be able to post this video here. Uh, this video is going to be mostly raw, very little edits. Uh, not every clip uh, was able to make it in the video, though. Some of it's corrupted, cut short, whatever. Uh, but it's very raw. My POV going through the storm. Real quick, you're going to see some memes that me and some friends made uh, right as the storm hit. Uh, and there's going to be the POV of me going through the storm. And then at the very end, I'm going to have some aftermath photos. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Pack your things. We're leaving. Yeah, let's get everybody. It's your boy Rice. And uh, as some of y'all may know, uh, we're currently having a super typhoon here in Guam. I just want to give y'all a quick update. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be able to post this most likely because uh, I'm probably going to run out of service here pretty soon. But Part Supra, which is right there, uh, had a cover on it. Not anymore. Which kind of sucks because uh, the windows broke. So um, it's getting a crap ton of rain in the interior which uh, I wanted to pull, but I'm um, not sure if the interior is going to be worth anything after this. And uh, y'all won't be able to see it, because you can barely see it from the actual window itself. But the actual Supra, which you can see a tiny, tiny little piece of it there, that had a cover on it as well, which, uh, as you can tell, is no longer on it. So hopefully, hopefully nothing happens. Um, the eye of the storm is supposed to hit us at like 10 p.m. tonight, which it's currently only like a little past nine, maybe like 9.15 in the morning. So tomorrow, Thursday, which today is Wednesday, um, hopefully the storm will be past us and it'll be safe to go outside. Uh, that way I can do like a post storm update um, But yeah, hopefully nothing happens But uh, I am kind of preparing for the worst just in case because I mean super typhoon is no joke, so All right, so I'm doing a little update. It's uh, it's about to be one in the afternoon and uh the part Supra, the hatch, okay, this is probably going to be a really bad idea. The hatch is wide open. I oh, still can't really see it. Okay, so you can't see it. You probably can't even hear me. Okay, let's do it. I don't know, case in point, the hatch is wide open, which is kind of funny. But yeah, the storm pretty much is uh, almost at full effect. Um, you can definitely hear it. Not too much going on though, in terms of debris and stuff, which is good. But uh, I still find that funny though, hatch is completely open. But yeah, it, it sounds like if I'm on a cargo ship in the middle of the ocean, so like these guard, the little guardrails right here, they're, uh, they're squeaking every now and then because of the high wind. Uh, I think it said uh, we're definitely over uh, 50 miles an hour worth of wind and I think it's something close to like 100 miles an hour worth of wind gust. So uh, yeah, it's definitely flying out there, so. Yeah, that's pretty much the update. Like I said, it's like, it's pretty much one o'clock. And uh, the eye of the storm is supposed to hit at like 10. So, yeah, there's a little update there, so.
Yeah, definitely not opening this door. Matter of fact, in case this does blow open, put the deadlock there. Alright, <clears throat> another update. It is like... Alright, so I just noticed something really not good. Obviously, it's starting to rain now really hard. Um, it's not gonna, I already know it's not gonna focus. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Part Supra hatch is, um, it's gone. It, it's no longer there. Storm blew it away. Uh, the only thing that's left is like the frame for the the back hatch glass but as far as like the rest of the hatch it's gone uh, and if you're curious like what I mean by that or like how uh, if you saw the previous videos uh, the part super is super rusted and the hatch was super rust like it could flex like with just your hand so, um, considering that we're experiencing, like, uh, over a hundred plus winds right now, yeah, it, it just, it just, it blew up, basically. Alright, guys, so, I got most of the water. I mean, there's still a bunch, like, that I still have to dry up later, but I see where it's coming from. And it is the door. Literally just gushing in right there on the very edge of the door. As you can see, this first towel is already soaked. But we're gonna try our best to cover that up. That way the water doesn't uh, doesn't come any further again. So I already have two towels here. I have a third one in the bathroom that I really don't want to have to use. Because I would still like to have one for whenever I shower when the storm passed. But uh, if not, I would just have to use the third one to keep most of this water. But this water is pouring in. It's a lot of water. Definitely enough to flood my room. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen to the best of our ability. It doesn't look like it's coming in on this side though, which is interesting. This side appears to be, oh no, okay, so a little bit. It's coming in a little bit on this side, but it's mainly. mainly So this is gonna be the last update since uh, the brunt of the storm is, uh, I would argue that it's uh, finally gotten here. A bunch of water coming in my room. I've had to use my third towel now, which is my last one. Uh, you can see it's slowly making its way to the third towel. Uh, as for the cars, the only one that I can see is the part Supra and uh, it's absolutely getting torn apart uh i actually saw it with my own eyes uh the front windshield get absolutely blown out from the car uh you can't see it it's it's frost out basically um but yeah the windshield got blown out the hood got blown off like i said the part super is just being picked apart and it's making me super paranoid um because uh obviously those parts gotta fly somewhere and i still have two other cars in the same parking lot but unfortunately I can't do anything about it. I won't even be able to check on them until obviously after the storm passes. So but yeah, this is probably gonna be the last update uh, until said storm passes and I can go outside and check on the cars. But uh, with all that being said, I'm pretty much gonna be fighting water and uh, yeah, hopefully nothing else happens. All right, so. Give you a quick uh, look at this again. Look at all that water coming in. 
absolutely horrible. And this is already drenched again, so I guess we'll give y'all like a, a first look at how I'm doing this. All that water. Ridiculous. So I'm trying to trying to drain that little bit here in the sink. So then that way I can carry it over here. Shower. Where I can drain the rest of it. Obviously I'm doing this with one hand so I'm making it harder for myself. Alright, and then once we're done... Try and get this back on there. Just so we could do that again. In about like... Five minutes. <laughs> yeah, the... The center of the storm is pretty much hitting us right now, so... I'm definitely going to be going back and forth from uh, these three towels, so this is going to be fun. You just listen to that, don't that just sound amazing? Uh, six o'clock it's a few minutes past and uh, the heart of the storm is uh, finally on top of us as y'all might be able to hear and um, I'm on to my last MRE unfortunately so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it now and um, Hopefully I'll be able to fall asleep, that way I'm not uh, super hungry in the middle of the night. But yeah, so the heart's on top of us right now. And if what, the, if what they said on the news is correct, it should start slowing down a little bit around like 10, maybe midnight tonight. It should start slowing down a little bit. Um, it's pretty much frosty outside. I can't see anything because of the amount of rain. So I have no idea what condition uh, the parts car is in or the Focus or the Supra, which is the main one that I'm really worried about, as I'm sure y'all would guess. Uh, so yeah, this, this sucks. This definitely sucks. Uh, well, since I'm not winning, I figured I'd show you all an update, uh, but water started spewing out of my back window. Look at this crap. Are you kidding me? I tried to slow it down, but it's not working, obviously, because it's paper towels, but... Uh, I am so over this typhoon already. From like seven o'clock at night to one o'clock in the morning, the thing blew off. All right, everybody. So to close out this video, I just have a couple pictures of the vehicles after the storm. Uh, the Ford Focus pretty much did the best out of all three vehicles. Probably the worst damage was a crack on the front windshield. The part Supra doesn't exist anymore. Um, I'm going to try and salvage the interior, but considering that like it's all salt water and stuff, it's probably a lost cause. Um, thankfully though, 
the main Supra, which I'm sure mostly everyone, including myself, was the most worried about, uh, got away mostly okay. It does have a crap ton of new body scratches, uh, and the windshield on the main Supra is also messed up. Uh, but it could have been a lot worse, and honestly, I don't know what I would have done <laughs> uh, if the main Supra did uh, get more messed up, but I'm just really glad it didn't. But, uh, yeah, I had clips, uh, more clips after the fact, but obviously with the high winds, it's unaudible, and I'm not even going to try and figure out, like, what we said in those clips, so I'm just not going to post them. Um, that pretty much marks the end of this video, though. I don't know when exactly my posting is going to go back to normal or whatnot. There's really no word on the progress that's being made, but progress is being made already, which is good. So unfortunately, I'm not sure when I'm going to be back 100%, but when I do, you know, I'm going to be trying to go back to my little posting schedule that I had. If you guys want to help out in any way, uh, I'm sure it's not hard to find links or articles or whatever uh, talking about Guam. Uh, and ways to help. Obviously anything would be appreciated. With all that being said though, I will see everyone in the next video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy my content or whatever the case may be. And I will hopefully see y'all in the next video. Peace.